Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Murder One back again for another Quake 4 gameplay reaction. Today we got a 2v2 match, me and Dead Center versus Staiwu and Zemos. We're on the map Sandstorm, and uh, yeah, this is a Quake 4 Max uh, demo. Okay, so uh, kicking off the match, we're gonna get a lightning gun spawn. We're gonna circle around and go up for the red armor. Staiwu uh, greets us there with the rail. We're able to take that down. Red armor and the uh, better gun mid-range, so we end up winning that one. We're gonna go straight towards the quad now and try to get some uh, LG kills. Gonna spot Zemos there and we buck into Staiwu as well. Gonna fall down and clear that up. Uh, immediately gonna make our way now over to the red armor spawn. Just to uh, secure that for the next cycle, we see uh, our teammate DC uh, pick that up there. And uh, now we move over to the Mega, because that would be the next to come up in the cycle. So now we're just looking to see if we can get any more kills. We're able to uh, get a couple and uh, take map control. And so now the uh, plan is to just kick back and forth between the Red and the Mega. Style with some nice rockets there, we're able to get a trade. Fortunate spawn for us though, uh, we get the Red Armor right back and... Uh, couple dead body rockets and we're instantly into another, in, into another battle with Zemos uh, he has top level there and the LG so that's not good for us hits two nice rails there and is able to steal the mega we're gonna spawn right back in though with an LG spawn and we're able to take him down get our revenge right off the uh, spawn DC and I, of course, uh, are uh, clan mates, and I'm not sure who this guy Zemos was. I'm assuming he must have been one of Staiwu's friends from back in the day, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but uh, yeah, pretty good player, man. This uh, match was uh, pretty pretty even, skill-wise, I'd say. So we're able to pick the yellow up now. I'm going to spam for the quad. Quad, of course, comes up every two minutes. So I try to spam at least 15 seconds ahead of time just to make sure DC knows uh, to come and get it. In a fight here, we're able, we're able to drop Stai. It comes up. We only have two health though, so I'm trying to spam for DC to come and pick it up. He makes his way over. Got tag teamed on. He didn't go over the uh, the quad. And so the uh, enemy are able to get it. Get a fortunate red armor spawn though, so... Not gonna hang around to to uh, capture the mega. We're just gonna hide, and I make sure to uh, tell DC to do so as well. Just gonna wait out the quad here, standing next to this jump pad. It, it is enclosed, so if they come around the corner here, we can just go up and uh, be safe most of the time, or generally. I'm gonna make our way back around to the mega spawn now. Trying to stay quiet because uh, they were able to get a bit of the map control, so we're not really trying to get into too many f fights right now. Trying to just look for a trap or uh, to surprise them, you know, as we do here. We've got a nice rocket shot there. DC cleans it up. We're going to fall on the Mega. We made a play for the Mega and it worked out. Pick up some rocket ammo now. DC is going to grab the red. Get into an LG battle and we end up falling there. And we're able to get our revenge right after the spawn per usual. These 2v2 games in Quake 4, like I said, the movement is always uh, super fast. So you, know, you can get right back, back in the fight off the spawn if you choose. It's a double-edged sword though because a lot of times you think you can... Um, jump right back in a fight but of course the movement is fast so the person might have picked up items in that uh you know three four second interim that you're not aware of and you're going into a fight with no guns or just one gun and no armor and end up throwing away two frags instead of one so you got to be real careful with the uh, re-engage off the spawn which is you know similar to most quake games Nice work with the nail gun there by Stabu now. They're, they're able to get the quad. And I'm mess messaging DC now because uh, 
you know, that's two times in a row that uh, he didn't get the quad. And so now we're just going to hide again, waste out the quad. This map is moderately large, so this strat kind of works. Just hide whenever they have the quad. If you give up one or two frags, not a big deal. You get it back when the uh, quad is down. As, as you can see, I'm just uh, trying to get away. Not trying to engage at all. Going to meet him here now on the Red Armor Bridge. Got some nice damage in. Red Armor is all gone, so we just disengage. And try to uh, engage in a new spot there. Wanted to go up the jump pad, but he took a nice defensive position there, and so we uh, we end up falling. Good adjustment there by Staiwu. Yellow and LG off the spawn, found a rocket on the floor. Gonna pick that up and move our way over to the Red Armor Bridge and was able to get a kill. 17 to 10 is the score now. We're going to try to make a move here on style. We're going to go MG for MG, switch to the LG when we got a bit closer, and we're able to clean up that kill. Comfortable lead now, so we uh, expect to start taking some gambles to try to balloon up the score. Six minute mark is on the clock, so you know the quad comes up every two minutes, so should be coming up pretty soon here. And that's a good way to tell when you're playing the uh, 2v2s. If it's an even number early in the count, you know, the count is, what, uh, 60 seconds for the minute. So if it's early, you know, 605, 610, you can expect the, the power up, whatever map you're on, to uh, come up early to mid. Unless some extenuation circumstances occurred previously. Was able to uh, down Staiwu there and get the quad. So now we're going to look to see what we can do with it. Uh, lowered expectations is to just get map control, but uh, we fall to a, a good rail there anyway. Was going to re-engage, but we heard the quad pick up, so we just abort and try to play it safe. Still got a sizable lead, so as long as we hide, don't give up too many frags, we're good to go. Going to hear him there now, going to... Shoot some suppressive fire with the Hyper Blaster. And gonna make our way to meet up back with DC in the Mega Room. Lost track of him there and we're able to, uh, he was able to take both of us down with the rocket. Fortunate spawn there for us at the lightning gun though, a little bit away away from everything, so you can get into a nice little fight there with Zemos, but we end up falling. Power up should be coming up soon again, so uh did a little early spam there to let DC know to uh you know get ready for it. Able to take out Zemos there and now still low health again, so I'm going to try to just play uh, defense so that DC can sort of be the battery and uh, pick it up. Low health though, of course, so you know this is a risky, uh, risky take and of course we end up falling. They end up getting the quad again, so of course the plan is to hide or uh, you know take some free damage anywhere we can still had a six frag lead so i like to still play a little bit loose in this situation so i was going to bulldoze straight through don't come up the uh, jump pad as well with the lg that's sort of like the one of the only guns that you can do that with shotgun will work as well too so now they've gotten three or four of the last quad pickups and so now they're coming back in the game I'm gonna fall again there and so basically all our momentum is lost they're coming right back in the game rail into LG forces us to crater and the game is now tied up once again hurt him up top there so of course we can't go up he falls down big mistake there we have the low advantage uh, if you watch my last video 
I was telling you that every gun had a best case scenario in which you can use it. That right there is one for the shotgun. If you're on a lower level and the other guy's on a upper level, whatever size the ledge may be, that's an advantageous position for the shotgun. Because even if they have the rocket, they're going to have to peek over the edge to shoot the rocket, which exposes them and you can just blast them with a you know point blank shotgun shot. Ten minute mark now. Games of course last fifteen. So quad is coming up again, so we're trying to signal for it. Try to bulldoze in my way there to make a miracle happen. The score was tied, so I'm still comfortable gambling when the score is tied. Didn't work out though, so just we just fall back and pick up the red. And try to get weapons and restack. We see him coming around the corner there, so we go up the jump pad. Gonna try to hit some defensive rocket shots now. Hit both. Advance forward, because we weren't expecting two of them to be there. Was able to make a trade. Got the LG spawn now, which is probably our favorite spawn, so we're gonna ignore this fight and go straight away to the quad drop, but it ends up running out anyway. Gonna try to abort this fight now. Nice rail there by Staiwu. Gonna make our way around to the rocket launcher. Pick that up and gonna try to restack here in a second. Can't stay on the red bridge though because we are uh, killable. So we just circle around and drop down to the LG spawn. Get our health back up to 100. And gonna try to, try to make some moves now. Get a nice pop-up rocket kill there on Zemos. Gonna wait on this yellow. Nice kill there as well. So we're able to take a one frag lead now at the approaching the 12 minute mark. DC was able to get the red in the interim as well. You can see um, in the bottom right hand corner there the uh, your teammate's position and their health and armor um, so you, you know you can know kind of know who picks up what even if you're not on um, voice which we were not of course so. I kind of back in this time frame we didn't really use voice a lot because voice kind of makes the games a bit too try hard as I've said before when you're not on voice you are more liable to make mistakes and have gaps in your communication which makes the game a little bit more fun. Now that might sound crazy, but it, it really does. It's you know it takes out the super hard, try hard, sweaty, competitive nature of when you're in voice. Because when you're in voice, you know you can communicate everything exactly. Your teammate is going to always know what to do. There's going to be no natural mistakes made, other than if you just make a completely bad call. But for example, in this game at the start, you saw that uh, we had some miscommunication with the quad pickups there. And they were able to get back in the game because of them. So that's kind of what I mean. It's, it's a little bit more, you know, free flowing. A little more natural gameplay as opposed to, you know, structured, high competitive gameplay. It's just more shoot it up with the boys instead of, uh, you know, trying to win quite God. So we still have a, a two frag lead down, gonna get a nice rail in there, we're gonna move in, switch to the LG, clean it up. As we close in on the 14 minute mark, only one minute remaining now, so we're gonna try to buckle down and get this dub. Gonna defend the red armor here, gonna get like four rails in a row there. And here we have no voice. I'm trying to tell him to go pick up the red because he has the health. We only have uh, 10, well now 5 health. So we, our mission now is to just stack back up. Zemos is going to meet us up top there so we can't get the 50 bubble deaths up top. Closing in on the last minute now, last 30 seconds of the game. So I'm spamming to DC to let him know to fight for the power up. We're going to end up falling though, we're going to get the red, get the nail gun and try to 
support. Three frags down, they have the quad. Not a good situation. Only 15 seconds left. They got DC there. Battle to close it out here. We end up falling as well. So now they tied up the score with about seven seconds to go. So very dangerous situation. They still have the quad. We have to now hide. Gunner 7 is going to meet us up top there. Fortunately for us, the time hit. And so now we're into a two minute overtime. The new end time will be at the 17 minute mark. Zemus is going to back out now, so now the game is up for grabs. Anybody can get it. Going to meet Stai Wu here now. We were unfortunately on the jump pad, so easily, easily uh, killable there, and he uh, took advantage of that. When you're in the air, you know, you, you don't have control of your character, so you're just an easy target, and that's, you know why I tell you guys all the time don't jump in fights don't fall off anything and don't go up jump pads because those three suspend you in the air and um, you know if they're using like the LG you'll just be a predictable target at that point so we're two frags down now coming up on a 16 minute mark power up is gonna come up so you know, I spam for it there gonna fall to Zemos go back down three frags Quake Gods gave us a nice spawn there to run into Staiwu with low health. We're able to take him down with a machine gun. Two frag lead, 16 minute mark, only 4 uh, 50 seconds left. And so now I'm spamming to DC because this next quad is going to be crucial. They're obviously not there though, so that means they're hiding. So I leave him there and go try to hunt for them. Going to check the Mega now. He's out. See him outside. We pick the Mega up and we try to tie the game up here. Took Staiwu down and now we have Zemus to go. We're going to switch to the machine gun. We're going to get the kill. DC gets the quad. And so now we're in a decent position. Game is tied with uh, 15 seconds left. Nice battle here with Staiwu. He's shooting some good nails so we have to abort. We're going to stack up. Drop down. We meet Zemus down by the LG spawn. We're going to get two nice rockets and kill him. Four seconds left. Try to run away to secure the W. We do so. Great game to us. We end up winning this one by two frags, 46 to 44. Big shout outs to Staiwu and Zemos, DC as well. Great games, boys. And that's going to be it for today's game. If you guys liked this video, go ahead and smash the like button, comment and subscribe, share it with your friends. On the road to 300 subs, man, we're like three subs away, so, uh, you know, help us out with that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one, man. Peace.